Okay, uh, first I'm going to apologize because I'm not very good. Um, I can't, I'm 55 already and I can't become good at using, I have, I'm trying to learn editing. So I, I hung my cell phone from the, from the laptop and so that I can fool sort of that I'm looking at the camera because it helps me to look at my own image. I'm very unprofessional. Um, I don't know what to call you or you guys your channel because obviously it doesn't give a name so i guess i can i will refer to you guys as to you the guy that was uh, speaking and presenting uh the documentary the uh, simulator um so i was enjoying the thorough and um involved um analysis and investigation of the Jeffrey Epstein summary so far of what we're able to ask in all the questions. That was a lot of work, definitely. Um, I want to share with you guys my way of thinking. I don't know if I can call it maybe an instrument of analysis, an instrument of um, investigation uh, without sounding... Um, arrogant like I invented something great I guess it's just a result of my personality and how I tend to what I tend to think about when I listen to all of these um, uh, stories well, I don't know what to call them um, uh, disgruntled um, reactions by the public thanks to the internet exposing so much of what clearly is a a deceiving world of power and and lies and so now people are finally able to hear thousands of people saying hey uh, you know this is not right um why don't we ask these questions what really happened here that didn't happen um 50 years ago we just kind of took whatever they gave us and uh, investigators were renegades, lone rangers <clears throat> that managed to maybe get a story on a pay on some paper. Uh, now all of a sudden you turn on the internet and you're able to see, well, the the uh, explosion in communications is as fast as a fascinating. I could get lost and forget why I was making this little video for you guys. So I want to sort of uh, describe this that I define as an instrument and sort of share it, give it to you guys to see if I'm able to describe it well enough as a concept, um, as, as a mechanism that it might be uh, used by people that can, because I obviously don't know uh, what it pretends or what it purports to investigate. I, but the concept, which is class typical of me as a designer as a design student i i get the concept i see the big layout the site plan and a big idea but then uh working out the details hey you know there's people that actually know a lot and could use the concept and put it to put it to good work um that's my dog okay so let me pause right here because that's just how I do it. I have, I'm very rudimentary. I pause it and I think a little bit. Um, maybe I should give it a name. Um, I call it. I would call it something like the 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 trickle up um, method of analysis and investigation. And basically, what it does is instead of looking at the event and being uh, sort of raptured into all the indignation and all the intelligent observations uh, that we discover, uh, what it does is it looks at the structure behind it. Because what happens? Sort of, I'll make an analogy. If let's say uh, in our village we wake up uh, to an enormous fire raging through the forest and all the all our neighbors are out there and they're all pointing and looking at this horrible thing that's happening in the in our valley, and you 
come to the crowd where people are talking to find out what's going on, what happened. And the first thing you hear is, uh, yeah, they say it was arson, right? But everybody, maybe uh, people toss this around and you everybody kind of hears it at some point. But really, we're all sort of into that fire and we're thinking about what to do and what it's going to cost. Uh, cause and what are how are we going to re, re um, replenish that forest or re, reforest uh, that part of the of the hills and meanwhile and sometimes there's somebody in the crowd that realizes this I'm sorry I'm reading somebody that's sending me a little message um, sometimes in the crowd you get somebody who sees this and they're really smart and the first thing they do is they look away from the fire and they start thinking about where the people who committed the arson are running where because that's what you know we want to mean they want they realize that while we're all looking at the fire the robbers are getting away right so that, this is kind of a metaphor, and that's why it, by nature, as an uh, investigative analysis concept, it is uh, opposite. It's the inverse of of what we normally, how we normally get involved with uh, s such huge stories like this one. Um, and the way to do it is to imagine, basically, follow the. The, the 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 sequence of events backwards, which uh, there's a lot of information on. We know the names of all these people that were next to putting our put ourselves in his uh, jail cell next to him, and rewind the whole story. And as you rewind it you start bumping into who would have decided to put the probable person that killed him uh, next to him, who uh, had the authority, who would give the okay, who has the keys, who would, uh, uh, um, under whose watch somebody could not get away without being noticed. Let's see if I can explain that a little better. When something happens, for example, um, uh, that the, the the neighborhood is talking about something immoral, something that is wrong about the police, or something that is wrong about our the, the schools our children are going to, and you talk about it with your neighbors, and you know, and it it starts becoming something where everybody maybe has a part in it somehow because they provide whatever the vehicles or the financing um what you realize is that when you find yourself i mean one of the things that we we notice is that when you find yourself talking to people that may be involved or have some degree of accountability to this larger subject that we're talking as if it didn't involve them um, and it turns out that you're talking to somebody who, who may be connected or involved to the problem. One thing they don't, they are, um, they don't tell you is what they do for a living. They don't tell you what their job is because where you have authority, see the, the key words are authority and power, um, is where your decision, the, the power for making decision lies and uh, calls you onto a specific moment. So if you trace backwards, what you find is always a place that decides, that calls a shot, that whose uh, watch you have to walk in front of, who has to give you permission, who makes it happen, who actually, sometimes it's not necessarily the boss. Sometimes there are bosses that are a, a figureheads and really they're taking all their uh all their decision um information from somebody else that's working right under them and it turns out that is the person that is calling that is using their brain as to what to decide what to do and so the, what i'm saying is that the the if you follow backwards if you trickle back 
uh, follow the money, as they say, right? Um, some most of the times you find a you you deal with a person that actually has the title, the position, uh, the platform of power, who decides, well, let's do this, or you go and do that, and take care of it this way or that way. Sometimes not, but the point is that you can find whether it's the boss or the person who tells the boss what to do. You can um, step, uh, ba walk backwards all the way, <laughs> all the way, all the way till you get to wherever. Um, and the difference with this is sort of the uncharted uh, network, kind of instead of the events that were all ex the official events, the the ones that you know. What you notice is that if you try to do that, you find the people that don't want to tell you what job they do, or uh, he's the one that calls a shot, or or that's uh, that falls in the in the in the decision the uh, decision making of these or those people, because what people really hide in in so in society or in a country when it comes to these matters of ethics and, and morality and injustice is um, their role in the development of situations. So uh, let's see, I'm kind of losing track. I'm going to have to stop. And Right. So it is harder work, but, you know, it isn't a coincidence that more and more we're becoming a population of people that really don't know what our government leaders and our officials and our people in government in Washington's job really entails. We kind of know their title, but we don't know exactly what their work is like every day, day to day, who they deal with, when their decision matters, how their decision Affects, you know, we know some things and usually they don't, they're not expansive because precisely the world is guilty. Nobody wants to really make, uh, make others aware of, of everything that they have a power in deciding on because, you know, it's, it's a bad world basically. We all, <laughs> human nature, I, um, don't want to change the subject here, but, um, you know, that's where uh, uh, you'll find it harder to go back because that's where you realize, well, you know, actually, I don't know, for example. I don't know exactly if that would be this person's call or the warden's call or there's somebody above the warden that can just walk into the prison and, and everybody says, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, we don't actually understand that so well, but that is what we need to walk back on each one of those steps and the difference is that um in that place there isn't it's not a world a thinking world of lies it's not a place our uh, the world we live is a world of lies people boast that the, the reasons they do things for and we all know that they're self-serving secrets and uh, immorality that is disguised by official protocol and or, or official manners of doing things and we know the world is just a constant lying right uh, of, of, uh, of a purporting facade and uh, and and having us believe that it's about this and that and we try to work with that you know we get indignant and we um, challenge the uh, the the lack of values and morality and all of this and, and we play that trying to make the lying world more honest which is what this presentation is doing it's it's saying you know speak up try to make the the lying world a more honest place you know fight for it ask these questions find out really what they're hiding the method that i'm talking about uh, doesn't exist in that in that world it it just simply goes back to the realism of who has the platform of authority in which they have decision the uh, decision making power for for whatever 
step that we come on to as we walk backwards. And so, and, and the path is already laid out, but because, you know, um, if we get caught with the finagling of, could it actually be the two prison guards fell asleep? <laughs> we know, we both know that <laughs> that didn't happen um, and that the cameras didn't break. And let's say that maybe there's a chance that perhaps one camera did break and it just so happens that it served them well for that camera to be broken. So you can establish um, a percentage of probability just to assure us on our gut feeling. And then you have the, the layout of what direction to go in. So, for example, uh, if you say the two guards fell asleep, no, we know that's a lie. Let's say that it we have a 80% chance. All you got to do to come up with that fraction is to say, well, how often do guards fall asleep <laughs> when they're, you know, well, that hardly ever happens. So one or two percent or five percent chance. And so you can say, okay, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to solidify that gut feeling. That is a lie. Those guards did not fall asleep. And so th then comes, then you make the question, who would they have had, who would have had to uh, overlook that for it not to be a risk? So what you would arrive at is the person who was responsible for installing those guards or putting those guards there, uh, picking the two that always fall asleep or uh, telling them to lie. Or at some point, as you walk backwards, you find to the person that would have observed and allowed or not allowed that. And so for and, and, and so you, you open that door as you go back. And then you go to the next one. And who was it that would have said it was okay or not okay or accept, overlook or not overlook, you know, this next step, which is also uh, detracted from solidifying, solidifying your gut feeling that is a, you know, we all know basically that um, in the general sense, we all know, everybody knows and we don't know how to say it. We can't because... The world of lies has put a potato in our mouth. And so, um, oh, great. That's an important message. Okay. And so we're not, we don't know where to go with it. Not because we're afraid. Obviously, we're not afraid. The, the internet is giving us courage to speak up, right? So far, it doesn't, they're not chasing us. They're not <laughs> killing us, you know. Um, because obviously they must be uh, filtering, they must be using the internet to see just how intelligent and what and, and get ahead of the game. <laughs> That's what people don't talk about is that you know they're probably use, letting whoever the they're wanting us to act up and and look at the fire. You know, who 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 started uh, who were the arsonists that started that fire so they so that the arsonist can say, look, they're, don't worry, they're not suspecting us. They're not suspecting us. You know, they can control us better by seeing how we act. Isn't that ironic and, and tragic? We're putting so much effort um, into this, and then it turns out that it serves them even better. But in any case, um, that has a whole other uh, area that it can extend into, which is interesting. But anyways... Um, we all know that this probably is uh, has to do uh, for certain for re for uh, for for certainly for for sure certainly has to do or, or no doubt I can't I can't come up with a word sometimes my brain I'm bilingual and trilingual whatever and I get my brain gets all so anyways um, that there were people empower enough to where it resulted in him needing to get killed. There were people involved, whether he was blackmailing, whether it was uh, the the case, the, the case that got, that made it to the courthouse was causing files and investigations to start revealing to too many people names and situations that he was getting dangerous. They had to get rid of him. And, um, to stop everything, to just freeze and stop it, everything in its tracks. And so 
you could, therefore, <laughs> knowing that, gut feeling uh, that is virtually certain, except that we don't know how to how to articulate it, that you can continue that path going backwards and saying, well, who would have had the authority to actually stop the judge from, from for, for example, Dershowitz, right? When I listened to that, uh, the negotiation that where he got away with uh, the rape and uh, sent to house arrest or whatever, and, and, you know, and the judge was told to leave Epstein alone, right? Um, mm. Oh Jesus! Um, th that's an easy one. I mean, basically, we can find out because we know the structure of gar government. We can go and see. We know how the courthouse works. We know how the authority pyramid works from government to courthouse to institution to police everywhere. We know what everybody's job is. We know um, that who gets bypassed and authority. Uh, somebody uh, has the authority, uh, the power to instruct from a higher platform of authority and bypass maybe who the 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 director of whatever that institution is. We we all these things are are. That's what I mean by it's not the world of lies. It is what we actually know. And so we can walk there with certainty. Uh, and as we follow back, we basically can f figure out who killed him. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. You know, if that's what we want to answer, which is what we want to answer, we can pretty much figure out even who decided to, uh, you know, and, and I mean, you said it already. Uh, you guys, simulators, you, you said it, you said it, you said it, you know, there's, it's obviously to do with the British American, so we, uh, alliance of uh, axes, axes of heroism, <laughs> saving the world for democracy, global alliance, <laughs> whatever, um, you know, so we're already kind of in a ballpark there, right, and so, if we know what everybody does, that's it's not a, a question. We know those are the people that most care that he shut up. And since we can figure out that path, it, I mean, once you understand the concept, it's actually easy. If you are somebody, not like me, who knows what everybody actually does in government and institution and where the judge, who the judge says, yes, sir, okay, you know, to. <laughs> the judges in, general, judges in general don't say yes, sir, to anybody, but there are people that everybody has somebody. Um, it's a, a trickle-up uh, concept, which is also applicable to other things, and I'm not going to mix subjects too. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to share. I think if somebody is, understands what I'm trying to say, the concept, uh, you could rebuild, you could build a network of reasoning that pretty much leads you to where the the, 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 the smoking gun is or who has to do with the smoking gun or who sent somebody to, to, to shoot him, to kill him, to hang him, to whatever. Um, you can find these things. We can we can actually discover these things without any evidence, without any, uh, without being part of the lying world of, of, you know, presenting evidence and questioning evidence, and 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 because of the, the, the morality and the morality and the principles of this, that what you ought to believe, and and all the fears of of speaking up and going against challenging authority and that whole world that whole sphere of that we all live in is not uh is avoided basically by applying this methodology uh we can find out who killed him that's not we can find out without being having any evidence without having any proof now once we do that and we get to the person or to the people then perhaps we can focus and and uh, on that specific specific group of people or area of the power structure 
of the country and apply the, the, the real lying world so that we can all see and people can start talking and, um, but you know, it's worth, it's also worth, uh, this part, this hidden, um, you have to, you, you, you have to concede to, uh, uh, human nature and know that people lie and that will, they will, we know all this stuff. But we're not applying it. We're applying it in the wrong place. We're applying it to the place where it will be challenged and denied. <laughs> we can't get, uh, uh, we can't waste our energy in confronting an uphill battle in the in this, this the lying world. We have to build a coherent structure that makes all the sense in the world because you know that it wasn't the mayor of Atlanta that, 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 had Epstein, uh, it was, if anybody, the mayor of, uh, where was he, Washington? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's, there's logical, uh, logical reasoning that would build a structure as the more you know, the more precise it is without evidence. You, you can have actually even know that particular jailhouse building and, you know the employees and who calls a shot and who started working where and, and then you can actually go and and meet the people who know these people and eventually somebody will tell you you know like when somebody says you know it was it was that person they would never i can totally see how they they would take money and 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 fake it and not be there and bingo there it is there is the person you thought would be in a position of letting it happen it turns out that somebody confirmed to you that yeah that person is somebody who would do that and so again we, you can actually discover who, what happened without building a huge uh, complicated network of probabilities that actually involves so many people and 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 and, and gets all of us uh uh, pulled along the lying world and involved and they always have the power of lying that's what i'm trying to say that the people and platforms of authority platforms of power that have uh the power uh that have decision a decision platform because if i'm anyways i get that whole description confused but um lie people lie <laughs> and they don't lie in a sense that we imagine the person lying like planning it out and being specific about a lie but i'm talking about the lying of human nature where we kind of do it all the time uh you know somebody says for example uh Oh, your dog is so lucky, you know, to have you and you treat, and you know that you you hit your dog a few times, even though you're the best owner in the world. Nobody knows that. You know it alone, you know, or you, maybe you know alone that you slapped your wife and it was a secret and nobody knows about her. Or maybe when nobody's looking, you know, you, the world it lives what they present to the world that wants to hear you be a certain way. And so we're always really lying in a sense, this kind, this level of lying. Where if, um, so if, if, if we get people involved in getting angry and indignant, yeah, that is, that serves a purpose because we're all numb and asleep and people have to wake up and they have to care that this happened. But at some point, you have to not respond to the same game anymore and go where you know you need to go to find out who killed this man. You know, I don't think he was, um, there's another, I, I believe that there, there's a chance that he could have faked his death somehow. I think that the, being in a coma thing is a little, it doesn't seem so implausible like you guys presented. I think actually there is a little bit of possibility there, but more than likely, and another possibility that I didn't, uh, that I didn't see uh, you entertain is the possibility, and this kind of requires a, kind, a moral caliber that we don't necessarily imagine in today's world so much, but people still play by those rules, which is that he knew he had to kill himself. Um, and he, or he was put in a position like those, uh, you know, Carlitos Way movies. Uh, you know, if you don't make it so that you kill yourself, meaning that you pay somebody 
So if ever, if ever it is discovered, it will seem like you paid somebody to kill you. If you don't do that, we will get you later. And, you know, maybe he was pressured. But in any case, that's poss That's another uh, alternative that could have been part of the... That was a cool name. Tree of Logic. The, the I forgot the name of it. But anyways, uh, in any case, I think it is absolutely useful to wake up people and educate people. And that there uh, is... a a reality that nobody is going by especially in our country some some countries are a little more in touch with their government people know they almost see their leaders and their governments they saw them grow up they know where the neighborhood they lived in they know what they're probably doing in the in the government house there's more personability in our country we might, they're just basically figures it's a marble stoic solid mass impenetrable you know, and then they present a, a movie for us to watch <laughs> what really happens. And there's some people do. I mean, some people, but the vast majority of our population really follows the, the movie. And so what we need to do is not uh, humor that movie and actually use our logic and, and, and look for that, follow that trail until we get to the person who probably, you know, the people, to me, it's there between the royal family and the government this is who in, in in what level of government you know this is what is really compellingly interesting to me what level of government and it doesn't go by the structure that we're all taught to understand and uh, so far as how our government works but where upon something it has to do with communications right because at some point the buzz among the people you know, among that scene, that uh, group of people was that all this stuff is starting to come out. You know, this man is getting the Prince Andrew and whoever, God knows, not just Clinton or Trump, but maybe other people that are not even mentioned are going to get him. Um, and so they're, they would be the people in positions of authority and government that are most uh, trigger responsible to what people are talking about that would reach uh, sensitive places of, of of power in Washington. I don't know what that job is or what that what political you know uh, jo um, place that is. But what I do understand is conceptually. Uh, Probably half of Washington was talking about this, no doubt. I mean, all the people that are about moving power and and you know and know know a depth of what really goes on inside the governments of countries, and they all were talking about how this is affecting the royal family. And so, as that became more intense, lesser a, a smaller group of those people started saying this is getting serious this is getting serious. this is going to jeopardize uh, our uh, you know people who could take advantage of of this you know and and again that narrows down the people that that play a role and have that would do or and then who would have uh would be in a position to actually do something about it and head towards towards the judicial uh, situation and start moving people aside. You know, all those things are, are findable. They, they're not part of the rules of the lying world. They're part, we can actually have enough knowledge about what really happens in our country, in our government behind closed doors, closed doors, sort of say, to have a pretty good idea of who those people, and they're not, Anybody, it's not, it has nothing to do with what we're seeing, what the general public is seeing. Even in this big scandal, it seems, ooh, you know, they, they've never been so vulnerable. Look at all, look at how they expose themselves. We all know they're lying. You know, we think that we, now we got them. It seems that way, but reality, no. The people that are actually, uh, we would find through this method that I'm telling uh, you are, they're not being talked about. They're the person that actually moved and, and made sure that this person didn't say anything, that we're able to get somebody in there and they place 
place Epstein a certain way in the prison and, and who were actually the ones to do that are not being talked about. But we could find them easily. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. We could actually use our heads and go, well, you know, that would be this person or that person. Anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope, you know, I'm terrible at making these. I hope um, it kind of comes across. <laughs> I get, I, I, I described it well enough. All right. So long. Thanks. No way to Okay, I'm going to splice this in. I just went for um, a walk with my dog and I was thinking, you know, I really didn't get a point across well enough. Um, maybe some of you really don't understand, don't don't get the, the, the powerful grit of what I'm trying to trying to um, convey the the notion the not philosophical but the concept conceptual notion of knowing knowing you know we evolved knowing things before we invented evidence and proof and science and labeling and categories and subject matters we simply knew things it proceeds in 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 substance and the importance uh, to, in existential meaning it precedes whatever evidence or knowledge we believe to have and confirm you know at some point uh, I always get into this argument with people who um, you know they tell me you what evidence do you have to support what you're saying well you know it's the other way around. We created ways to prove knowledge to those that don't understand what we are much more capable of simply knowing by simply understanding something. So in a sense, we already know what happened to Jeffrey. This is what I'm trying to say. This is not the same as saying, um, you know, you know a, a little girl was raped and murdered and we simply don't know. It could have been any anything. It could have been a family relative that chased her. It could have been out of the house. It could have been caught up with her. It could have been a a, a teenager who just did it. Uh, a gang member who's proving themselves. You know, it could have been anything. This is not the case <laughs> for Jeffrey Epstein. We know Epstein. We know what happened. We know what happened. Uh, and you already know. So some things are um, are m much more appropriate to use this sort of method mechanism that I was that I described because they're not like looking at us at a bright light in the sky and not knowing if it's a satellite or or if it's a another star or maybe it's a planet you know we see a light flash or we see it travel around the star and we know that's a planet or we know that's a supernova there's no mistaking it the probability that it's something else always exists but that's not the point because we are not first evidence and then evidence substantiates knowing we are first knowing and then we invented evidence and proof to assist no knowing you understand so this in today's society, it's kind of inverted. It's the other way around. And of course, if people just start asserting what they believe, um, the world doesn't function that way either. But we, we can't um, and arguing and, and and you know. But you know, on the other hand, uh, if people are respectful and minding of when they don't understand what somebody else is saying and they express that and they say wait hang on i didn't understand what you said are you meaning this or that you know conversation conceptually con dialogue could be had uh without ever attacking or denying or uh arguing against other people because conversation is not based on discord conversation is based on knowledge and education and learning and that means that um, the irritation of of denying and um, what somebody else is saying 
or attacking that person because you don't believe that they're correct is simply the failure of dialogue, of conversation. Because conceptually, we could always say, wait, this we're not agreeing on, we're not on the same page in this conversation along the way. We, both people can always do that. You know, Of course, it would be a different world. It would be this really placid, calm world where nobody ever argues. But what, conceptually, um, you know, there are things that we don't quite understand. When uh, the value of already knowing, of knowing something, um, and then when it is appropriate that you say, okay, well, we're going to need evidence, we're going to need proof. We have to be able to relegate. We have to be able to question the law always. We have to be able to say, wait a second, we invented the law, we established, came up with values and principles and decided how it's going to reason. We should be always empowered to say, in this case, it's not reasoning correctly, so we need to change that law. We can never lose that authority as as people, as a society, as a country, as institutions that represent their people. We can never have the law govern us, you know, and, and it, that is the world we've created. We, uh, we've we forgotten we are the creators of our civilization, and so we're letting this machinery. And some people are very, uh, run us, and some people are just really savvy at, at having a sense that they, they, the people who are not run by machinery, they may be acting like they're run by the machinery of civilization, they can use... The, these instruments to work people who are less assertive, less independent in this aff 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 affirmation that they are the creators of civilization. The people, that's why people who are running things seem smarter and more and quicker. <laughs> you know, what they're smarter and quicker about is actually uh, in their connection to the existential reality that we are the creators of our, this artifact that we call the instruments and the institutions of civilization. And so they become better at, at using money to serve themselves and serve the people that matter to them. Um, and then the masses are just like needing to follow and believe the storyline and, and, and we all need to trust, we all need to have faith. And so the, the the better people who have uh, a greater disposition to trust the good intentions of others end up being the masses that get led and upon whom injustice is inflicted. Um, and the people who are more cut and dry, crueler, uh, snappier, and more zealous or or shrewd, you know, they are the ones that use these instruments to their benefit. Now, we're all acting like... In fact, here we go again. They are hiding, you know, th that's the thing. They don't, what, when I said before that when people are talking about something polemical that is going on in the neighborhood, they don't say what job, what their job is. They hide their function in, in that town and society because they don't want you to relate, their, they, don't want, they don't want you to connect accountability to their decision-making power. And so that's why they, they act like they're just anybody and they're also sharing in this terrible thing that's happening to everybody. Um, and so by the same token, the people that are pulling the levers that are in positions of power and authority are also pretending that they believe the storyline, that they go by, because they're used, they use that instrumentation of morality and principles uh, to um, continue uh, effectuating their prowess and having the masses just kind of not question and continue doing what they do. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that across because people say, well, you know, uh, people are afraid of saying, um, without evidence, you can't proceed, or how do you know, you know, that we always sort of, um, we're scared of, of, of going by what we believe in our gut feeling and our intuition to be right about, you know, because we have been 
uh, stripped of our um, power uh, to uh, believe in ourselves by uh, uh, invest, uh, vesting um, uh, authority and evidence and um, you know systems and definitions with the validity of of reason and uh, reason can function perfectly fine with just our good sense, our high sense of uh, uh, intelligent, intuitive affirmation, which is knowing. <laughs> you simply know something. You can't explain it. Um, you know, and this is an important term socially and linguistically to wield. It is important that we that we use this definition of knowing. You know, in in Spanish, um, in Spanish, in some countries, they say when they're explaining something, they go, "Well, one knows, one knows." You know, there's no explanation to it. One knows that that's what happened. It's not used a whole lot, but sometimes it is. Um, the only recourse to bring back the well, um, well-founded uh, confidence of the human soul, the human spirit, the human human intelligence that has been what it is before we started using the scaffolding of validating with evidence and scientific verification and so forth. You know, we turn the world, and the problem is that. That what that does is it gives it turns uh, knowledge it gives knowledge a handle that then people can say well we have the authority of of knowledge in other words we we empower institution you know it's like you know uh, it either rains or drizzles or it downpours and we kind of always knew that those were the three forms of rain that could that could fall and we just simply know if it's drizzling or if it's raining or if it's downpouring you know but at some point in civilization we decided well you know we're going to define what scientifically um a downpour is and a drizzle is and when when it's rain and then all of a sudden we find ourselves in the world now where somebody has the authority to say well can you prove it's rain most of us cannot prove with evidence what those people who are moving the levers of power and affliction of effects of uh, of their power upon others can wield by the little roll of paper that says this is the evidence that that is rain. And since I am the one that calls it rain or downpour or drizzle, you know, and this is what happens in, in the court system, basically. You know, you could say, but you know, the truth, the injustice of this whole thing is that that my father raped me all my life. And so I went nuts. You know, I feel so, in a sense, I feel sorry for the Menendez brothers because in effect, it looks like, you know, they, they were brutally psychologically abused. Now, we go by such a shallow instruction is it benefiting anybody? Well, it's benefiting everybody that continues to keep the gun in their holster, their seat in the courthouse, the fat paychecks of their law firm. You know, all these people are not interested in changing things. They're not interested in saying, well, wait a second, let's look at justice. Can you hold accountable somebody's clearly mentally unstable and crazy? They went and took the credit cards and they're like children uh, over you know with their brain totally uh, usurped and um dysfunctional and traumatized and you know how can you apply the same punishment you would give to somebody who coldly planned uh, for uh, somebody to go kill another person because they wanted to that person to take the blame and so they coldly planned somebody else to murder a third person so that they could you know that's 
uh, exhibiting an intelligence that in, in case the person got caught they, the, and the law would go after the killer, that he had a chance of getting away and the person who shot him. And that's, uh, that's, a, real, that's a real murder. <laughs> that's real, planned out, cold. Uh, there's no emotional, you know, you could even say that sometimes, uh, you know, the, 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 cal the psychological, emotional aspect. We are supposedly intelligent in sociology, sociology and psychology, and yet the law doesn't look at us as a human organism that raises its own children to become what they become in the world, influences and educates our children to believe that they have to see things a certain way according to everything culturally and socially and uh, they learn from the world and so they you know we are all the products of the world of course that would be a lot of a huge expectation but you know we are the ones that want to own justice so you could easily argue if you really want to be just well you should uh, consider everything that affected a person who ended up acting or behaving or, uh, you know, enacting something against another person. And then you could, which would always involve a uh, plurality, a social number of people, uh, you know, it wouldn't just be, you know, and this inability not only has to do with people who don't want to change things, but also because we come from a history, a, a global history of this idea that a create of creators who later, later became emperors and what have you, and gods that uh, somehow it's too difficult to explain why some people fail. We've divided the world in bad people and good people. And so that way we don't have to think too much, you know, that just put everything on one person, crucify them and blame them for everything. When in reality, they didn't really do anything. Uh, there are other forces, you know, that are uh, that he was upsetting or she was upsetting, and so um, we all, like sheep, agreed to crucify that person um, without really understanding that what we needed to do is use our intelligence towards how society forms us and what it does to us and what it it uh, provokes us to or what it, it resents, and, and, and you know, <laughs> society is never wrong, institutions are never wrong, uh, priests and presidents and, and owners of companies and famous people and all the people with uh, p platforms of, of power and authority, it seems that we've got to, we cannot rock the pedestal, you know, it's always the, 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 the little person, the one that's down on their knees that we have probably did it, and, and the reality of us is that we are first collective. We care more about what everybody does to us and everybody will do to us more than what we afflict the world with. More is done to each individual than what any individual can do to society. So we, it's the other way around. The world is running uh, inverted, <laughs> actually. But um, so anyways, that's probably real deep and spiritual and whatever. But... Uh, I think in this case, we have to discern that this case, the Jeffrey Epstein case, is unique in that for the first time, all, a supernova showed up. Everybody, you know, this is time to take out your telescopes because we already know where what happened here. <laughs> we already know that a lot of people are wanting to wanted to shut him up. And so we can go and find out who those people are. Because there's only there's the 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 call on doing or observing or uh, emptying or changing you know or uh, obeying or whatever it is falls on a person as you follow that structure backwards like I explained initially so you know that well that's let's go if you if. You, can, you don't even have to stop anywhere, actually. You can say, well, and where did that person that made sure that that person did anything got instructed or who did they have to face or who did they have to obey that they normally don't have to listen to anybody, but who would be above that person? And you get to that person. And you get to a, 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 
what do you call it? Uh, the top of a mountain. You get to a place where, well, you can t continue going higher, but it isn't. It doesn't go higher in the way. It doesn't go all the way to the president. You know, it wasn't. The, it wasn't Trump that ordered Jeffrey Epstein killed. Some, you know, without going all the way, you kind of know. Uh, some people know. I don't know. A lot of you probably don't know. But the people that know what people really do in the country in certain positions could tell you. Well, that those are you know they arranged it among these people, and they are the ones where here is where the 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 intention or the will to interfere probably came from you know you don't have to make it all the way to trump uh or maybe maybe it does you know and but you could you could find all those things um also by gauging against there's a lot of factors in any case it is not the lying pretenses uh easy world it is precisely this is the these are the paths that get people in trouble and disappeared <laughs> you know when people really are playing by the truth instead of by the show of the world you know uh that's where so i, I doubt anybody's going to want to take remove this video but if this video for example were to provoke people in power and, uh, that really want to make a difference and want to change the world and want to actually believe in the, in, the, in, the, in the value of righteous principles in healing and transforming the country to a higher ideal that was perhaps sought by some at some point in our history, may want to apply this and they would <laughs> find themselves uh, being noticed, <laughs> being noticed by by somebody that may, may they may end up um, suffering the same fate as um, where is Maxime Maxwell <laughs> or Glacine or Glacine? What's her name? Maxwell. I know it's Maxwell. Anyways, you know why isn't that's an easy one? I mean, who would be the person in our government that would Create the order to find her. Where is it? The CIA? Is it Interpol? Is it, uh, you know, wherever? There's there's jobs. There's a handful of jobs. There are the people that have always done that. <laughs> and they have names. <laughs> That's where we're supposed to be. Not just hy be happy with the hypothesis, mention it as I just did, and then go somewhere else. No, that's where we have to go. That's what we, and of course, that is digging for trouble. But do we want to get to the truth or not? You know, we've got to make up our minds. Do we want to continue playing the show and, and getting, because, you know, a lot of this emotional discharge that is happening through so many YouTube channels is kind of helping them because if it's almost like the desensitization, des desensitizing of a society for a war where you say, you know, we're going to beat them up, we're going to beat them up. And the first time they said that 50 years ago, oh, no, you can't invade them. They're great. There's a wonderful culture. You know, and pretty soon we said so much junk about them and we lied so much and we uh, bluffed so many times that at some point people get tired and they just, you know, whatever. Oh, they ended up doing it. They ended up invading. So they invaded, you know, kind of like what's happening with, with Venezuela. What? That's ridiculous. The Maldinas, for example, the 1982, uh, when it appeared, everybody kind of went, what the hell? What's Britain doing uh, attacking, you know, or going to war with Argentina just because they, they they sent soldiers over there? You know, nobody knew. And But what seemed most incredible is that a country like Britain would... Uh, engage in a war with another Western country that is one, like one of our Latin American friends, you know, everybody. But so nobody was tenderized. <laughs> they didn't work that like they, they are doing with Venezuela. And so they had to act quickly, 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 you know, get them over there and start the war as soon as possible because they didn't want people to 
they weren't ready and they were probably going to, at some point somebody was going to say something. No, that's ridiculous. That's, uh, oh, so the Argentinians actually were kicked off the islands. And so they, the British didn't want uh, people to start talking about the history of the islands either. They just wanted the, the um, initially in 1833, not, not the time that they invaded. They wanted to take them back in 82. Uh, so th since the British didn't want any of it, and still today, they just want to plow forward. This is what we're doing basically with with uh, what they're doing with Jeffrey Epstein. And um, with Venezuela, what, I, what, what you see is like attempts to lift the weight, you know, like you warm up and you, do, you try to do the bench press and it hurts your muscles, you know, nobody's... We reacted. We occupied the, the embassy. This is ridiculous. How can, you know, invading Venezuela, we all know why you're doing it. And so they they relaxed their arms, you know. And then now they're trying to do another bench press to see if, and, and testing the waters. Uh, we don't really um, understand a lot of the ways, the reasons for which our government does, uh, parts of our government do the things the way they do. For example, um, a lot of the bluffing that happens with, you know, ooh, confrontation with uh, Iran and the ships and the, and, the, and the Persian Gulf and stuff, really it is of more interest. You have to remember what the ultimate goal is, to win quickly, effectively a war, and to get your, you know, Get your results and, and not and have no people, de uh, no soldiers die. And so, in order to achieve that, what you do? What do you do? You you have to gauge the capabilities of your enemy. So all of these bluff confrontations are actually ways that our country is measuring what technology are they not letting us see? What can they do? What's their response time? Um, and, and you listen to the news, not even independent journal journalism tells you that. And clearly that's probably what they're doing. They're, they, until, until they, they can do the leap, you know, when they get themselves ready and maybe boom, that time they go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to slip this in. I never even started the video. Oh no. Yeah, I did. Shit. I was looking at my my uh, laptop screen <laughs> that would be like me you know <laughs> just talk for an hour and they never started it all right so long oh well, not so long because i'm going to try to split it inside whatever okay S not split it splice it splice it and i'm going to try to see if i can splice it inside the other one if not i'll just put it at the end okay thanks thanks for listening